Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Mister Media tutorial, we're going to be covering two great little topics. The first one is fixing someone with a sort of red face. Maybe they've been working out, maybe they're sunburned, fixing that so they look less, you know, red in the face. And the second one is making people's skin pop more whenever the lighting is not ideal or composition or anything. You'll just see this shot is, is an unfortunate kind of mess. So here we have, these guys are great. They're super cool. Um, it's not their fault that this shot is like not good looking at all. So what we're going to do to fix this, since they're nice guys and they sound good, is we're going to first of all, since this is flat log footage shot on the Blackmagic Cinema camera, we're going to add a quick little let to even it out so it's a little bit easier to work with. So I'm using one from the House Let's Pack. This is the Make It Normal one, which is what I normally use for this. So you see this shot's also a little bit underexposed. I'm just going to knock the offset up until it's looking a little bit more correct. So now you can see we've got some some red face action here, and it's not too bad. It looked worse on set. The Make It Normal let, you know, helps out a little bit with that. MeasterMedia.com slash products, House Let's Pack, shameless plug. But in order to take care of this, I'm going to add a new node so we can A-B what we're doing is we're going to go to Curves and go to Hue versus Hue, and we're going to select right there, and you can see that's where our our main issue is. And just to show you what this does is it, just changes one selected hue. So, you know, we can go Smurf mode if you want, but what we're gonna do instead is just take it from where it was and bring it down just a little bit. You don't wanna go too far or else you get, you know, vomit face, which you don't want, but you can just go down a little bit and that'll sort of yellow it out and that will make it a lot nicer already. So you can see before, after, it's kind of subtle. Let me zoom way in for you. So there's before, you can see, and then after, it evens it out a little bit. The next step is to go to our hue versus saturation. Select that same little area and desaturate it just a bit. Nice, so now you can see before and after. And now that is, you know, pretty acceptable looking skin. But you see, you know, we don't know what to look at in the shot because like I said, it is just a gigantic, terrible mess. So what we're gonna do, this is a great trick that I use all the time. It makes your footage look way more expensive. I'm going to add another serial node there. Go over to our qualifier tab, then select our skin, I'll hit shift eight so we can see what we're doing, click and drag. And we can make this super rough because it's not, you know, we're not doing too much crazy stuff. Well, we kind of are, but it works with this. And then we're gonna blur it way the heck out because it doesn't need to be a super fine selection. Hit shift H and you can see nothing's happened yet because we need to still do something with our selection. So we're gonna add some contrast and now you can see just what that's doing. So that's obviously too much, so we'll back it off a little bit. And that's about the right amount of contrast, but we're gonna move the pivot, which basically changes where the midpoint of the contrast. So it adjusts the point where it changes from making things darker to making things brighter. You see as we move it down, that makes it a little brighter, so now we get a little more pop out of our skin. And now adding contrast also adds in some perceived saturation, so we're gonna bring the saturation down just a bit to even that out. Then, since these are dudes and you can get away with it, add some mid-tone detail, which makes it look pretty cool. And now you can see, before that, after that, that really pops a lot. It goes from any idiot with a camera to, you know, gangster squad. So that really does a huge amount. I do that a lot and it's it's great. And that might be a little bit much. So if you wanna dial that back sound, you can obviously bring your key output down a little bit so it's a little bit less crazy. And then finally, we just go ahead and finish off making this shot look less bad. We will add a linear qualifier down here to darken up the bottom. And like that, that's a little bit too much. So we'll bring the lift up a bit, nice. And then we will add a parallel node and just make a big old vignette around stuff. Just trying to get this pretty ugly background that was insisted upon less, less vibrant. So invert that bad boy and bring it down some. Cool. So now we'll move on to the next step and I'll actually add this before these two. So add a new serial node, delete my little mess up here. And in this node, we will do one of my favorite things, which is adding glow. There's that, we'll make the spread way crazy like, and then just bring the brightness down some. Glow is one of my favorite things. I use it too much, so just, you know, don't use it if you don't want to. And then finally, something that's bothering me is this microphone is like super duper ugly, which is why I don't normally use it but this is this actual shot is gonna be in black and white for like the actual video. So I was like, what the heck, we'll use it because it does, you know, sound 
decent for the price. But what we're gonna do here is just select this, blur it out, add a little qualifier, and track that bad boy real quick. Turn off 3D because we don't need it. Track forward, and then track backwards. Pro tip, if you turn off all of your nodes, it'll track faster, but you know that wasn't too bad. So now that we've got that tracked and it is hopefully sticking along pretty well, yep, it's good enough. Now we can do whatever we want to this, so we can you know, desaturate it some. Let's refine our key a little bit. Shift H, let's bring this blur way down and just select everything we need. Cool, bring our luminance. Nope, that's not helping. Looks like this will be a little bit. Oh, there we go. Saturation did it. Okay, so that'll be close enough, I think. So we can bring our saturation down a good little bit, which already helps out a bunch. If we are cheeky, can change the hue, make it a pretty unoffensive blue. So you can see before and after looks much less bad. And now we've taken this shot from really terrible to acceptable and I won't, you know, and you know, hopefully no one will get mad about it. But like I said, the actual grade for this shot is black and white. So, you know, it'll look more like this and that. But that is a less interesting tutorial than doing all of this other garbage. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what your feelings down in the comments below. If you want this source of footage to play with and see if you can fix it even better than I did, be sure to check out our Patreon page, link for which is in the description below. And there should be a link on the end card of this video. Also, be sure to subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel where you can get all sorts of great videos like this, which, you know, if you're into that, and then there's no reason to not. Subscribing is free. Also, check out mistermedia.com slash products where we have all sorts of great stuff. You saw the house let's featured here today. We've also got Carnival Power Grades, which I use all the time, and some different stock footage packs, light leaks, and sort of lens flare and optical elements stuff. And then there's some free stuff on there too if you're into that. So, you know, all, all sorts of good stuff. I'm here for you, man. I'm here for you. We're, we're, we're connected. You stayed through the, the tutorial this long, you know. You and I are tight. So anyway, once again, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I've been Theo with Meester Media. We have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.